Hello, how y'all doing? I was tagged by Trev the Shipping Guru for the top five most important comics in my collection. So I had to try and weed out keys and weed out other issues, you know, for possible other, because he said he's going to do another one with uh, keys, but um, I guess I will go ahead and start with these are not in any particular order, but this is the negative variant. I couldn't afford the other ones, and this one was not bought. Well, it kind of was, in a way. I asked Ben Parker Comics to make me a mystery box at a certain amount, and this was the slab he threw in. And I'm really glad he did, because I love the negative variant of the Phoenix uh, this is X-Men number 19. Um, I absolutely love it. It's... I don't think it had a, it's, it's a key at all. It's just an awesome cover. And the negative variants I really enjoy. And I can't afford to get them slabbed. So I have to go the uh, more expensive route anyway. So, And also Ben Parker Comics. He sent me my first AOK. -okay. And there were two slabs in that AOK, -okay, and it was just an AOK, -okay. and it was the very first one I ever received in the community, and it meant a lot, and it really showed me what this community was about, and it made me feel good, and, you know, that somebody cared enough to send me something like that, and it, it, meant, it meant a lot to me. It really did. So, this uh, was one of the top most important in my collection. Another one would be this one that I received from Man Cave Comics. Uh, I actually, um, on Slab Hub, I won the second giveaway and Man Cave Comics was on there. And just for, I guess, chits and giggles, uh, he when he's the person on there, the second winner of the giveaway, he gives away a slab. And, uh, this was the slab that was picked for me. And it's Captain Midnight number 11. And it's the oldest slab in my collection, Golden Age, from 1943. In fact, World War II was going on. <clears throat> and I love the colors and I love everything about it. Um, it got the purple label because there's slight glue very light glue on the uh spine i guess somewhere but it says light so whatever anyway then the very first comic i ever purchased for myself was marvel legacy number one and this is the Art Adams exclusive cover B, and it's signed by Art Adams. And it is Art Adams exclusive. And it had the Phoenix on it, and I really liked it. And I like Art Adams. I love his art. And I love X-Men. So I picked it up. And then, <clears throat> because of that, Another important one in my collection is my best friend of 25 years who lives this state away, saw it, and picked this up. And then I received it. It is Marvel Legacy number one. It is the A cover signed by Arthur Adams. And this one has the very first Phoenix, Phoenix uh, Firehair, um, on the cover. And now I am only missing... Marvel Legacy number one, the exclusive C cover, signed by Art Adams and a 9.8. If I can get that, I will be all set, and I will have a complete set. Then last, but not least, was from Economics in Comics. He had 11 episodes. You had to find the letter, and then rearrange the letters, and figure out the word. And be the first one in the comments to give the right word. And it was me. And it was this 12,000 subscriber giveaway, and it was only one winner, and I won. And it was Speechless. It was the title of his new comic, uh, Artist Inspired. And I got the 10, graded 10, 
Carnage Black, White, and Blood, second print, Webhead variant. And it is the 10, okay? It is my only 10 in the collection. And if you check on the census, it is the only 10 from any company. This is the only 10 in existence of the second print, Webhead, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood variant. And so, to me, it's very important because not only is it the only 10 in my collection, but it's the only 10 in existence. So, I'm happy with it. And I hope you're happy, Trev, with my choices. And I'm supposed to pick a channel, but I didn't have that ready. And I wasn't ready to do that. So, I guess I could ask Chip Gettler. Ha 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 ha. I'll put you on the spot, Chip. Ha ha. I'll call you out. And Ben Parker Comics. Yeah, I'll call him out too. Those are the two I'll call out. And thank y'all for watching. This is Cat Fan Comics Man. And I'll catch y'all on the flip. Over and out.